This is question number 19 from exercise 22. In this question, we have to draw a double bar graph. And we will draw a double bar graph between class and total students and present students. So here we will draw bars for total students and present students. And we will make that bar of width 5 mm means 0.5 centimeters width we will take and height we will decide according to the given data in this question I have already drawn the axis on y axis I have taken number of students while on x axis I have taken classes so I have kept gap of 1 1 unit between each class and the scale which I have taken is 2 unit equals to 10, unit, 10 students means these total uh, there are total two units between 60 and 70 and total 20 divisions there are total 20 divisions means total 20 division will represent 10 students so let's start with bar graph and one more thing here i have kinked this graph because uh, there is no need to take the data till 0 to uh, 50 and 0 to 60 because when we see this data we got this idea that no student will lie uh, there will be no bar graph whose height will be uh, less than 60 centimeter uh, less than 60 students so to draw the bar graph uh, I have kinked this graph from here and now we will draw the bars we will find how we can find height of height of the bar graph so how we can represent we have to draw two bars and we will uh, uh, we will differentiate our two graphs using some hatchings or some you can we can use some different colors also to make a difference between these those two bar graphs so first of all uh, we will take graph for uh, the sixth class there are total 95 students 95 will lie between 90 and 100 so uh, 95 we have to take 95 which is 5 more than 90 5 more than 90 and we all know that there are total uh, 20 divisions between 90 and 100 and 20 division will represent 10 students so to represent 5 students we have to take 10 divisions so from 90 we will take 10 divisions uh, and it will come at this dark line so this dark line will represent 95 and we have to take a width of 0.5 centimeter so at here it will represent 95 and from here to the base we can draw bar for total students and then we can make it complete now we can hatch i can hatch this graph so that uh, it will give me an idea that this is for total students and in the graph we can represent uh, it by a symbol also that this bar in which we have made sketching such kind of hatching will represent uh, total strength of the class it means total student now how many students are present in the graph there are 92 uh, in sixth class so there are 92 students who are present in class six so represent to represent this uh, 92 we all know that it 92 will also lie between 1900 and i have to take two students so for two students i will take four small divisions so from 90 we will take four small divisions and these small divisions will come at this point so this point will represent 94 students and from here uh, just we can take horizontally uh, and like at, at this point it will represent the total 92 students so we can complete this graph making complete lines and now yes now it is now this graph will represent total 92 students so you can make it here also you can write it 95 here you can write it 92 now we will take seventh class in seventh class there are total 90 students so we can draw graph for 90 students of width 0.5 mm 0.5 centimeter and here it is
and total 85 students are present in 7th class so 85 will lie between 80 and 90 so from 80 we will take 10 small divisions to represent 85 because 2 division 2 small division will represent 1 student and 85 we have to represent so we will take here now total students we will represent by hatching graph so here we can draw some hatchings for total students yeah, total strength of the class and this graph will represent uh, present students so here total students are 90 and present students are 85 again now there is a gap of one unit between 7th and 8th class in 8th class the strength is 82 82 you can we can represent 82 that uh, total there are uh, 20 divisions between 80 and 90 and for two students we have to take four small divisions so it will come it is 80 and for from here we will take four divisions so it will represent 84 and it will be of for 0.5 centimeter it will have a thickness of 0.5 centimeter now it will represent total strength of 8th class we can hatch now 78 students will present in 8th class so 78 for 7 to represent 78 on graph it, we have to take 8 students right and for 8 students we have to take 16 small divisions so it will come here it will come at this line means uh, this will represent 70 this will represent 75 and from here we have to take 3 more division uh, uh, we have to take 78 for this we have to take uh, 6 more divisions so just above this small line it will come 78 at here so to draw this 78 we can mark it here and from here yeah this is the point where it will represent 78 so we can make gra uh, make it, we can make the bar for 78 and now it will represent 78 while this this bar will represent 82 in ninth class 75 student is the total strength so 75 to represent 75 this will 70 this will represent 75 so at here we can draw a graph for 75 and this will be the height of uh, total students we can match we can sketch it and total 69 students were present in ninth class so 69 means uh, one student less than 17 for one students we will take two small divisions so just below 70 we will uh, uh, we will take two students uh, we will take two divisions so here it will represent the at this point it will represent total 69 students so we can make the strength of 69 okay so this will represent total 69 students and this has to graph will represent 75 students in 10th class 68 student was the strength of the class and total 62 students were present in it in 10th class so to represent 68 we will uh, take uh, 60 plus 8 it means 16 division so from 60 16 division we have to take so 16 division these are uh, 10 10 5 and uh, this is 16 so here it is 16 division and okay now it will represent total 68 and we will sketch the 68 and total 62 students will present so 60 plus 4 division so 60 plus 4 division means here it will represent 62 students okay.
सो नाउ इन दिस ग्राफ वी आर रिप्रेजेंटिंग टोटल स्टूडेंट्स विद हैच बार एंड टोटल प्रेजेंट स्टूडेंट्स विद ब्लैंक बार सो एट बॉटम एट टॉप वी कैन गिव दिस सिंबल दैट टोटल स्टूडेंट्स इन टोटल स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ क्लास वी आर रिप्रेजेंटिंग इट विद हैच बार सो वी कैन मेक अ सिंबल फॉर हैच बार that this symbol will say that total students are represented by hash hash bars while present students are represented by simple bar so this is how we can draw a double bar graph points to be remember are that we have to maintain equal distance between Uh, be between two classes and the bar graph which we are making must be of equal width. Like in this question, we have maintained equal distance of one unit between each class, while we have maintained equal width of each bar, which is 0.5 centimeter or 5 mm. So now we have to answer some questions. First question is. Uh, which class has the maximum number of students so from this bar graph we can see that in sixth class the highest students are there so answer of first question answer of first question is class 6th now second question is find the ratio of number of students present to total students of the class 7 so the ratio will be number of students present to the total students in class 7 so there are total 85 students present and total students are 90 so we can divide 85 and 90 by 5 so when we will divide this will come 17 is to 18 so this is the ratio and now we have to solve third question which is what percent of class 9th students were absent 